In today's video, we are looking at the next coaster that could be removed from each SeaWorld and Hershend parks. The reason that they are in the same video is because each chain doesn't have enough parks to make making a separate video worthwhile. But before we get started, let me just say a few things. This video was extremely hard to make, much, much harder than the Six Flags and Cedar Fair videos I did on this topic. Because a few of these parks, I don't see anything leaving for a while. On that topic, do not get upset if your favorite coaster ends up being on this list as it was extremely hard to pick a coaster for each park. Our first park is Busch Gardens Tampa, and even though they have an old and outdated Schwarzkopf looping coaster Scorpion, it just got repainted and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. So that's why I am choosing Sand Serpent, a relocated Mock Rides Wild Mouse. Almost every roller coaster at Busch Gardens Tampa has a place in its lineup and you can easily see why. However, this does not apply to Sand Serpent. At this point, Sand Serpent is just unnecessary. The park has so many good family coasters that fit into the park's lineup well, but Sand Serpent is just kind of sitting there taking up land and being kind of useless. Another easy pointer is that Sand Serpent hasn't gotten repainted since it got relocated from Busch Gardens Williamsburg all the way back in 2004. From bush to bush, this time Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And this is a pretty unpopular opinion, but I actually think that the park's B&M invert, Alpengeist, will be the next coaster gone. And yes, I do know that Loch Ness Monster still exists at this park, but I think it has a longer lifespan than Alpengeist. First of all, it is a classic and fan favorite. Second, it just got a major refurbishment. I was thinking about skipping this park, but I can't do that, so I just chose the next logical coaster to be removed, Alpengeist. And there are a few reasons why. First of all, this coaster coaster's popularity is starting to dwindle, as people think it's starting to get rougher and rougher with age, and it's also starting to develop a rattle. The second reason is also the largest kicker, the mid-course break run. You might have no idea how this affects the lifespan of a coaster, and it really doesn't, but here's why. For almost all of Alpengeist's life, it ran without the mid-course break run, until about 2016. Then, they turned on the brakes, and now it has been coming to a near complete stop ever since. This is usually a last ditch effort to lengthen a coaster's lifespan without putting too much money into it. Back to Florida, this time SeaWorld Orlando, and I think that their Mock Rides water coaster, Journey to Atlantis, will be removed next. This park is mainly known for their three monstrous B&Ms, Mako, Kraken, and Manta. None of those will be getting removed anytime soon because they are all awesome fan favorite coasters. They also have a kitty coaster which will not be removed for obvious reasons and their new for 2020 edition Icebreaker will not be going anywhere for the long haul. And that just leaves Journey to Atlantis. Now, I must admit there aren't any blatant reasons of why this could be going anywhere anytime soon but I did have to choose something. Our next park up is SeaWorld San Antonio and even though they do have a Journey to Atlantis clone, it is much newer than the Orlando version, so I'm choosing Great White. This is a B&M invert that really has no business leaving, but it is the only coaster that realistically could be going anywhere anytime soon. And because B&M inverts have no downtime or maintenance issues whatsoever, so this roller coaster won't be leaving for at least the next 10 years. Our final SeaWorld park is SeaWorld San Diego, and I honestly think that their new for 2019 edition, Tidal Twister, will be removed next. Just like Orlando and San Antonio, this park Park also has a Journey to Atlantis clone, but this time it's a lot newer. You might be wondering, what puts such a new roller coaster in such big of a pickle? It's that it was a massive flop. It didn't bring nearly as many guests as SeaWorld thought it would, and it just didn't go over well with the public. Even though this coaster was a flop through and through, I don't see it being removed for the next five years, for the sole reason of it being so new. Nobody wants to remove a two-year-old coaster. We're now switching chains. We're now into the Hershen chain and starting with Dollywood, and I think almost everybody agrees that Blazing Fury will be the next coaster to go. Blazing Fury is a Dollywood classic, dating all the way back to the early 70s. This coaster always draws long lines, even on dead days, due to families absolutely loving it and eating up everything it offers. Just like almost every park on this video, I don't see Blazing Fury being removed for a while. I'd say give it until 2030. Dollywood's sister park is Silver Dollar City, and even though they have a near clone of Blazing Fury called Fire in the Hole, I'm not picking it as I think Powder Keg will be removed first. This coaster's history is extremely strange. Starting off as a family-friendly Premier Rides water coaster called Buzzsaw Falls, it was later transformed into Powder Keg. A very thrilling, intense, and 
an airtime filled launch coaster. But that's not the reason why this will be getting removed next. It's actually due to its sensors. This coaster cannot run in any type of mist, precipitation, rain, or anything of that substance. It hasn't been fully released by the park, so nobody really knows why, but this coaster just doesn't run in the rain. This can really take a toll on a coaster's lifetime, as it really limits what it can operate in. Due to its popularity, unique history, and overall good fit at the park, I don't think Powder Keg will be removed until 2027. That wraps up today's video. Did you guys agree with the placements in today's video? Probably not, but that's okay. Let me know what you think the next coaster to be removed from each SeaWorld in Hershend Park will be. Don't forget to follow my Instagram page, at Hangtime Thrills, or you can just use the link in the description. Anyways, I'll see you later on Hangtime Thrills.